Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at the power of presets, how much you can bring life into your image, even if it's flat, using just presets. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to use some of the presets I have here on my wedding images and trust me, the result is going to blow your mind. Now, for your own testing, we'll be giving out a preset to you for free so you can try it out also on your own images and get an amazing result. Trust me, the result will blow your mind. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's quickly get started. We're going to be applying it live on this image. Then I'm also going to be showing you a few tricks on things you can also do to bring more life into your image just very quick and it will blow your mind the kind of results you are going to get at the end of this so without wasting your time let's quickly get started so like i said it's going to be a preset thing the first thing i'm going to do is to crop this image of course it's a landscape image and i wouldn't want to lose all the details around it you can also, you can decide to place them in the thoughts which is what i might do there yeah? let me just place them in the thoughts so we can be able to pull in all that attention into that particular part of the frame Beautiful. So I like the way it is over here. I'm going to press enter just to have them on my thoughts. So the next first thing I'm going to do is to go straight to my camera roll. That is where we are going to uh, apply the preset. Trust me, this is not going to be a very long process. It's one of the best processes you've ever seen because it's going to be very easy. So the next thing I'm going to do is to load up my preset. I'm going to go to these three dots and go to load settings it's going to take us straight into the preset folder because i already applied it on some images and i just test out the result before i bring it out you are sure that it's a standardized process so the, the preset we want to use of course there are a lot of presets here you can try let's just try one or two before we go straight to the menu look at that amazing color look at the before look at the after the before the after let's try something else yeah let's see PGA wedding preset three to four. Oh, amazing! See this result. So, but I want something quite dramatic. So I'm going to be going downwards to see if I can get something a bit more dramatic. Yeah. So I think this last one should do. Yeah. Second to the last one. All right. So this is quite warmy. I wouldn't want that. Okay. So this is the preset I was coming for. This particular one. So I'm going to open it, and you will see the magic. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the transformation. Look at the before, look at the after, the before, the after. So one thing I'm going to do to improve it is just lift up my shadows a little and probably reduce the vignette effect that was applied on the image just slightly. I love the way it is applied, but I think it's darkening the shadows too much. I'm going to just reduce that and let's see what we can do with our highlight, our whites, yeah. So I think my clarity is quite too high. I'm just going to soften it out a little. If you are going for this kind of HDR, HDR textured look, I think a very high clarity will not be bad. So I'm also going to tone it down a little to make it look a bit more softer. Then I'm going to target individual colors, especially the ones that secreted them from the background. So I'm just going to go to my color mixer. This particular color here, I love the way it is. So I'm going to pick my eye tool so that I can be able to just identify the color and increase the saturation just like that. Just like that slightly, yeah. I love the way it's spilling on the dress. It gives it all that kind of vibrant look. Okay, so let's go back to our basic and see if we can make just one or two little adjustments to make things better. All right, I think we need to lift up our whites just slightly, yeah. Reduce your overall exposure just a bit, beautiful. Raise the shadows a little, yeah, the haze a little as well. Let's see how that looks. Very nice. Okay, so I think I love this look. I'm going to press OK and look at the transformation. Look at the transformation. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's look quickly, load up, load up our history and see. It. So we just crop in and the preset we are almost done with the job so the next thing i want to show you is a very quick way you can even improve your color grading by using overlay so i'm just going to quickly minimize and find my background that i want to use for this the overlay i want to use for what i'm about to show you and let me just quickly minimize and bring it up all right so it's right here i'm going to scale it all the way in yeah 
make sure you flip this just to fit into your canvas yes just flip scale it all the way up i wouldn't want to lose these colors while we do what we do so i'm going to still bring this in press enter so the next thing you should do is to blow this out like entirely blow everything out beautiful blow everything out you can decide to maintain some textures but i think it's going to mess the image up so we'll blow everything out till it becomes just color press ok and change the blend mode to soft light or any other blend mode you feel will give you that rich tone so this is before this is after before after so this was the image straight out of camera roll with the preset and immediately we apply this color on it it brought out even more light into the image by adding some contrast and adding some rich uh colors into the shadows other than having just a dark shadow let's try other blend modes and see the result it's going to give us probably will set you get something way finer than what we already have oh my god i love this let's see how this is going to look on a reduce or pass it's so nice okay so let's keep going let's keep going we'll try our screen of course i know that's going to brighten up stores and all of that but we can actually bring in a uh, contrast into this place just bring them out and we'll still get that airy look that will look so nice in our own image so let's keep going ballet soft light of course oh this is also nice hard light beautiful beautiful so just by blurring out a particular coloring on your image and moving your blend modes you are seeing the amazing results that we are already getting in our image so i think i'm going to stick with my saturation i love the way it works on the image just start little toning and we are done we are done just like that just like that but i think this is too much so i'm going to drop it down a little and probably try increasing the light on this on my object face just like this yeah press ok let's add a little contrast to it just like that press enter pick up your brush and just paint over there just to bring in that light extra light into their face yeah nice just to bring attention to that area so i'm going to do the same repeat the same process over this image and see how it handles it so the same thing go to camera raw go to your three dots load up your presets i'm going to stick to the main one to the original one because of uniformity so i think my my exposure is too high so i'm going to just drag down that drag that down a little yeah reduce the shadows just slightly this is nice okay so i think i love the result i have already press ok press ok so we'll repeat the same coloring process on this image and that is by just dragging this and placing it over here scale it all the way up just like we did before press enter blow it all the way out let's see changing the blend mode without blurring what that's going to give us i think i even prefer it without blurring okay so of course photoshop is a tool that allows you to explore many things i think i love how it's even mixing the colors without even blurring it i think it's because there, there are no visual uh, physical textures that we could lay hold on so i'm going to just reduce this a little beautiful i love the way feeding colors into my shadows so i'm going to try it lastly on this one okay so before we do that there is something i think we can do after we prop our image here i'm going to stick with my rule of thoughts just position them here okay so press enter so for this area that looks distracting i think i can duplicate my up my background go to my blog gallery go to tilt blog and just target this area yeah so i'm just going to make this straight like this beautiful so remember when you are using tilt blur everything within this space stays in focus everything outside here goes out of focus in gradation so i'm just going to drag this to the center make sure that my object is properly covered because i i just want to blow this area out so make sure my object is properly covered yeah bring this in and now drag this down now you can increase increase the blurriness the strength of the blur and it's going to work like this see the way it's working of course this can go even lower yeah just to make sure we protect our image blurring only the area we want to blur out just like that so i wouldn't want you identifying that this was a human being standing right there this press enter so that's something i wanted to show you quickly 
that you can do to even drag my attention into your image creates the illusion of shallow depth of field. So I'm going to flatten this and now use our preset very quickly. So the same thing, load up settings, go to pre-GA wedding preset level. That is the one I am using for this video. Okay, so because of visual impact, I noticed that our vignette is too dark for this one. I'm going to reduce the vignette just like that. Beautiful. Yeah, I think my highlight is also too high. I'm going to drop that down. I think it's in the exposure. Nice one. Reduce the shadow slightly or rather increase it. Add a little airy feeling to it. Nice, beautiful. Reduce the clarity just slightly. Okay, so I think I love the result. Maybe try increasing the vibrance a little bit more. Beautiful. Press enter. So we're going to see it apply on our image just like that. Beautiful. Isn't this so nice? All right, so to also give it uh, that look, that feel of this color mixings that we have here. I'm going to as well drag this in. Of course, you are getting this for free as well. Or rather, let's see using something else entirely how it's going to handle our image. Let's see what this warm, warm one is going to do to our image. Trust me, I'm not so sure how this is going to come out. But I mean, when Photoshop, you can always just go back and undo what we did. But what if it comes out so nice? All right, so press enter. For this one, I would definitely blow out because I'm seeing textures. So I'm going to blow it out all the way till I'm only having colors. Yeah. Press OK. So let's change the blend mode. I doubt this is going to look nice because of the palettes we are working with. Of course, we're working with our uh, dog with cool, cold tones. So this wouldn't really look nice. Yeah, so let's go back to what we, we are using as well. We can as well use this. This is going to use, give a good result, but we'll stick with this. Yeah, slip it all over. Scale it all the way out. Beautiful. Nice one. So I want to make sure that this magenta light is not on the face. So I'm going to just turn this all over. Just I want to make sure it's beneath the object. Slip vertically. Sorry. Wanted this to go towards the left. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so have it press enter. Let's try changing the blend mode first. Okay, so I think I need to blur. I think I need to blur before changing. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, blur it all the way out. Press OK. Change the blend mode, soft light, beautiful. So let's try flipping again. Let's see how that handles our image. So let's try flipping horizontally. Not bad. Let's clear. Oh, this is cool. Beautiful. So I think I'm going to stick with this. Press OK. You can decide to even move it around, but I think it's not giving me a nice result around the face area. So one thing you can do is just load up a mask or pick up your brush. Make sure it's a soft brush. Reduce the flow and just gradually remove it from the areas you do not want it. Beautiful. So I just try revealing, unveiling her face from the preset, from the overlay a little. So get back the original effect that our preset had on it and we are good to go so this see how we have been able to quickly color grade our images without even having to do much in photoshop because of preset so this is how you can even use presets in your own personal workflow download this preset apply it to your own workflow and see how it changes your work from now on thank you for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video trust me we'll have a lot of color gradient presets coming for you this period so you wouldn't want to miss anyone see you on the next video